you introduce yourself a little bit? So I'm Madeline, Christine's sister. And Turn right up here. Okay. I suppose I'll be showing you what it's like to live a day in my life. The dispensary. Yes. What I work at. Almost so medicine. that's where we're going right now, Alma yeah, Medicine. So when did you find out you had rheumatoid arthritis? So probably I started feeling it when I was like 15 or 16 and then I thought it was kind of the tile in the bathroom when I would wake up. My feet would be really sore when I stood up and I'd be getting ready and brushing my teeth. Mm -hmm. and I things. remember that. Yeah, and I would, my, I would complain and say like, stop. doesn't this bother you guys? Should I go straight? Yeah, straight. Keep going straight until I tell you. You guys were like, yeah, nothing wrong here. Having a great morning. Mm -hmm. I'm just suffering and my hands kind of felt all cramped up so I went to the doctor and then they, I guess they did a blood test so supposedly you can do that. And then they put me on all types of different medicines so that I wouldn't be in pain. And then I decided, I wondered, started to question like, what is all this medicine doing to my body? Mm -hmm. So, what are your general thoughts on medical marijuana? Um, well, I really don't think it should be used by people with like illnesses. Like, I don't think that it actually works to help alleviate symptoms. I think that can be good in some cases, but I think it's probably over abused by people who don't really need it. I think that medical cannabis could be taken advantage of. Um, I think that getting in the wrong hands, that people can just easily get medical cannabis for the wrong use. And I'm not really for it or against it. Like I know it has medical benefits, but I also understand that people abuse it a lot. So, what do you think that other like people who don't know a lot about the science behind medical cannabis, what do you think they think about it? So, people are either usually really for it or I just try to educate people if they don't know, uh, if that's if the reason that they don't like cannabis use, is that they don't know about it or that they think that it's harmful or it has these negative side effects. I try to, you know, educate them about it. And sometimes people are just totally unwilling to hear it. Sometimes uh, they're not. Sometimes people really listen, they'll open up their ears and their mind, and by the end of the conversation, they realize, I think I need to do some more research. because I know the password. <laughs> but just to show, usually there, she would say new or returning, and I would say returning. Walking here in Old Medicine, the mm -hmm. medical officer here. And uh, welcome to all. So being a doctor, knowing all the science behind medical cannabis, do you think that a lot of outsiders kind of have um, like a false perception on it? Sure. I mean, like anything but you know if you really read about it and you know self-educate yourself and read about you know as much as you can for in medical literature and in blogs and you know friends and, and family members that you know been suffering from diseases and you know they find great relief with cannabis so go and educate yourself and you know you'll, you know, you'll see that it actually works really, really well. Mm -hmm. Do you know the different methods of like usage of medical marijuana? Um, I know that you could eat it in a, in a brownie. I don't know if that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Medical marijuana, you could smoke it in various different um, ways. Mm -hmm. um, that probably is about all I know. Did you Did know you that you can use medical cannabis to reap the benefits of pain relief without getting high or having the psychoactive reaction? No, I didn't know that. So yeah. We've got capsules, it's just kind of, if you're used to taking a capsule, like a pill, mm -hmm. that's good, you can take that, take it in that form. We've got different edibles, there's tinctures, so you can put that in a drink or you can just put a couple of drops under your tongue. Oh. Um, 
then there's also flowery. So you can smoke the canvas and not get high, you know, the psychoactive mm -hmm. effects from it, which is really awesome. What do you think about like the general population of people who use medical marijuana? open to it than I think the general population so I don't really judge people but I know that like if, you, if someone says I'm doing it then generally they're gonna get like a negative like connotation attached to them throughout your journey with medical cannabis do you feel that have you ever felt judged before of course all the time and what does that feel like at first it's off-putting because just like, ugh, you know, you're judging something that you probably just don't know anything or enough about, really. Mm -hmm. like that. Uh, um, uh, like, <laughs> I'm playing in the back. <laughs> See ya. Uh, 